Hey, what's up everybody? So welcome back to another tutorial of this part number two series. So in the very first part of the video, you have learned about how we can format the date and we have used very some useful methods that are required when we are working with the APIs. And so, so you can see here date underscore time underscore format. You understand how we can format the date in different year, month and date. We can either change that to year, day or month, whatever we want. And same case here for hours, months, and definitely if in order to get the AM, PM format standards. So these are all the basic individual units that we discussed in the very first part. Now in the second part of this video, we are gonna do here is we, we are gonna create a date picker. And with the help of that, we are gonna pick up the date and show it inside our date time tax fee, right? So let's jump in and get started here. So I, all I need is to go inside my lib folder and let's get, create here a file with the name of date underscore screen dot dot file. And I'm gonna create here a stateless widget. So let me create that one and give it the name of date screen. All right, and let's import here material dot dot file. Right after the container, I need to create here a scaffold in order to generate my app bar all I need is to have my scaffold widget and let me create here an app bar and let's uh, define the app bar and right inside here I need to display my title with the help of tax widget let's give it the name of date field and in order to make that into the center all I need is center title to be true right so right after the app bar I need to display my container widget and that's where everything will be inside our body so usually the data like tax field and form that we are going to display here so we, we are gonna pass it inside here. So I need to generate some kind of padding. So let me define here child padding and I need the padding, padding from all sides. So I need to define here add insets dot all and let's give it a 16.0 means top, light, uh, top right left bottom, all spaces from top right left bottom, right? So right after here, we are gonna create here a new widget. We have to define here a new widget. So just like we have explained, I explained that inside my date underscore time underscore format. And you see here, we have used here a package with the name of INTL. And this package is very useful in order to format the date. So we don't need to define our INTL package because it's already inside my pub spec. But here I'm going to use here date time field. So let me go inside my Chrome. And all you need is just simply type here date time underscore picker underscore form field inside your Flutter and uh, let me install that so you see here a very useful documentation almost everything is identical however we have explained things how we can uh, do changes like formatting the date how we can combine date and time that's our main objective in this complete course series uh, so if i go inside the installing and let me install this package first so let me grab this one so i copied it from the clipboard open up your terminal and already in my case it's open and if I press enter and this is gonna load the uh, package inside our pubspack.yaml file right so now this dependencies is installed now we are able to use this package so right after the child uh, padding all I need is to define uh, the actually it should be right after this so let me define here date time field so all I need here is child um, let me uh, actually it should be uh, it ta it's taking time to load so child and let me define a date time field so right inside here you see here we have the format and the on show picker so in order to define the format the standard that we choose for our date is so format um, actually let me give the name to be final format equal to date format and the very basic format standard that I want is years. Let me define here months and the day. All right. And you see now the package is automatically import here, right? So whenever you are working with the date format, INTL package should be there, right? So right after the on show picker, we have to define here the context that's very important. So let me define that here first. So the context and the current value, the value that we want, if that value is not, if that value is null, then we have to either display the current value. So I'm going to display here current value. So right after the current value, 
uh, we have the context and the current value inside the on show picker. So I want to make this method async. All right. And uh, right after here, right inside that, I need to display the date. So final date equals. So we have show time picker. We have show date picker. So in this case, we are going to use only date. So let me define that show on uh, to use the show date picker, right? And the initial value you see here, I want my initial value to be current value. And if that value exists, so let me define here date time dot now. So this is going to add our the date that is that the current date that we have, which in my case is right now 12 um 192021 right so the first date i want to have here the year i need to pass which is date time um and let me define here the year which is 1900 and the last date that i want inside my on show date picker i want to give it the uh 2100 so let me define a date time and this and define here 2100 and this should be the year right all right, so we have set up everything here. So let me format that first. So just to make things a little bit neater. All right, so right after that, I need to just simply define return the date and that's it all we need. And if I try to show you my emulator and you see nothing happens here, the reason why, because we need to display that inside my main dot dark file as my home screen. So let me define here date screen. All right, and you see now it automatically import here. So now if I just try to hard reload and I definitely this gonna display us inside our emulator and there we are. And you see down here, if I just try to click on this one and now we are able to see our date picker, right? Now if I try to press okay and there we are. So year, month and day. So we now we are able to display our result inside our date time field now just to make this little bit better uh, all we can do is right inside my date time field uh, which is right up here right after the format we can also define here something which is known as decoration so let me define that input decoration we can do a lot of changes inside this package so there are a lot of flexibility this package provides us so we can also add here a label text if we want. So let me define here the label text to be choose date. And that's it, right? Um, if I just try to hard reload it and display the result now. So, so you see here now we are able to get our choose date. Now if I just try to press OK and you see now it's just float up and we are able to display the results inside our tax field and only the date that we are displaying right so now we can also change the date format i explained in the very first part of the video all you need is just to change the format of the date right inside the date format so i all i want is day and the month and the year which is small wise all four and if i try to hard reload and just try to check this out i'm going to choose the new date so Either I need, I don't need to change, uh, but it's automatically displayed, but I just want to change uh, and select a new day. So you see now it's 21 December, 2021. And the reason why, because these are all four M's capital. So that's the also one way that you can display the result. And you can also want to, if you want to change that to MM to make this small months only to display. And uh, if I just try to close this one and pick up a new date, and that's where we are, right? So you guys learn how we can change the format of the date according to different um, standards that we want. So that's it, guys. And I hope you guys learn something out of it. So in the next video, you're going to learn about how we can change the time. There are very slight difference, but it's going to be a very useful video. So don't skip it and watch that one. And I want to see you guys in the next part.